Welcome to my channel. In this video, we will see how to restart or recovery of the weblogic servers. Which means if your virtual machine is restarted for any reason like patching or power outage, then your weblogic server should start automatically once your virtual machine is available again. If you are new to my channel, don't forget to check out my channel. I have uploaded several videos related to installation or configuration and recently I have uploaded videos for service development as well. So don't forget to subscribe my channel uh, for similar content. So without wasting time, let's uh, move further. Let us discuss the crash recovery process. So if the virtual machine is restarted, uh, it should initiate in it the programs in the Linux environment and uh, we will configure our init program in a way that uh, when virtual machine starts it will start node manager by default. So when node manager starts it is configured to restart servers as part of crash recovery process. Node manager will recognize that the server shutdown was unexpected and it will restart all the servers automatically including the admin server. Let us see the flow. Let's say we have a virtual machine and that is Oracle VM. And inside that virtual machine, we have admin server and manage server running. So once this virtual machine is available again after the restart or any activity, initd program will initiate node manager as a service. And once node manager is started, it will recognize all the servers which was stopped. Uh, heuristically and it will try to start them again. Also note that to make this work uh, your admin server should be started with the node manager and uh, in this video we will also see like how to start admin server with the node manager because when we start admin server with the script that is start uh, weblogic uh, dot sh it doesn't start with uh, node manager and if it was not started with the node manager, node manager will not be able to recognize that the admin server went down uh, unexpectedly. Now let us begin with the initd configuration and for that we will go to initd and here we will have to add a script so that our node manager can be started as a service and uh, that script is uh, this one and uh, here you can see we have some variables so as per your environment you will have to uh, set these variables so for the domain home you will have to add domain home and uh, this one is middleware home this is the java path and this is the library path so for that you will have to replace uh, this uh, middleware home value and it should work so let's copy this script and also note that i will upload this script in git so that you can uh, easily copy this script and use as per your need so here we are creating one file that is fmw node manager you can give any name uh, whatever you want let's save this one and now we will have to add this uh, to our init configuration for that the command is check config add fmw nm so this is the name of our script now this script is added to check config now the next step is to edit node manager dot properties file for that we'll go to node manager home and here we will edit our node manager dot properties so here we'll have to edit crash recovery enabled from false to true so that node manager can identify servers which were stopped heuristically save now we can start our node manager service which we have added in the init configuration for that you should uh, log in with your root user only so we'll go to our root tab and here we will start our service for that we'll have to run service fmw node manager start and you can see we are getting permission denied error so we'll give uh, permission to this file uh, let's try again so our service is starting now and you can check 
if uh, node manager is running or not and you can see node manager is running now the next step is to start domain uh, using node manager so for that we will connect wlst and then we will start our admin server remember if we start uh, admin server with the start weblogic.sh it won't start with the node manager so we'll have to connect with wlst to connect with wlst there can be two ways let's see that you'll have to set domain environment variables uh, so i'm running set domain environment.sh now you can run java weblogic.wlst you can see we have uh, wlst is running in offline mode let's see the other way for this so for that you can go to oracle home under that uh, oracle common common bin and here you should see wlst.sh and when you run it it should uh, connect you to the wlst offline now here we will connect with the node manager with nm connect command so in this function we have username password and this is the host name of the machine this is the node manager port this is the name of domain this is domain path and uh, this is uh, like our node manager is running with plain or ssl if it is running in ssl then you'll have to give ssl here hit enter so now we are connected with the node manager and now we can start admin server for that the function is nm start and you'll have to give admin server inside this now this will start our admin server using node manager you can see our admin server has been started successfully let's try to log in into admin console and we will bring our servers up by the time it is starting uh, you can see we have this script in the kit and i will share this link with you in the description and don't forget to edit this variable so that it can work for you also so guys our servers are up and running and uh, we will re restart our virtual machine to create or to mimic uh, outage and we will see whether our servers are going to start automatically or not so i am rebooting this virtual machine and you can see our virtual machine is getting rebooted so our virtual machine is up again let's see whether node manager is started or not to check whether node manager is automatically started or not we will run pf minus ef command and you can see our node manager is started after virtual machine restart and uh, it is started automatically if you notice uh, our admin server is also started uh, because we have configured this in node manager dot properties file you can see our admin server is up again let us see whether our manage servers are getting started or not and you can see our manage servers are also starting automatically after vm restart you can see our servers are up and running so that's it for this video in the upcoming videos we will cover more interesting topics if you found this video helpful please like my video subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon for the further notification don't forget to leave a comment so that i can cover different different topics for you thank you